Recently, This is America and the World traveled to the Republic of Panama. It's a small country in Central America that geographically as a landmass links North and South America and its famous Panama Canal links East and West, the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans. It was our first trip to the region and the experience was absolutely terrific. It's a country of friendly people and warm weather and a country of contrasts a capital city of modern skyscrapers and just a couple of hours away, stunning rainforests, home to indigenous people who maintain not only the country's native roots, but also protect its environment. Panama is now center stage as it hosts the leadership of 35 countries at the 2015 Summit of the Americas. On this program, we'll explore Panama and the influences of the Spanish, French, and Americans on its history and culture. We'll talk with the Minister of Tourism, visit Panama's new Biodiversity Museum, and you'll meet guide Juan Carlos Valdez, who tells us about the old and colonial cities of the capital and takes us on a trip to visit the indigenous Embera tribe deep in the rainforests. This is America Visits Panama. This is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association, the U.S.-China Education Trust, and F.Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. Japan, history, hospitality, and advanced technology. Sharing tomorrow. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Panama Tourism Authority. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings. And Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing, and distribution services. Panama has everything. Culture, history, resorts, beaches, nightlife, rainforests, and even more. From his office, with a sensational view overlooking the water and the capital city, Minister of Tourism Jesus Sierra Victoria told me why Panama attracts tourists from all over the world. When we talk about tourism mm -hmm. in Panama, who comes, where do they come from, why do they come? Well, actually, the, 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 the number one uh, visit uh, from tourism that we have is from the uh, U.S. Uh, is that for the United right? States. That, that, that's I'm right. surprised. Yes. Pleasantly uh, surprised. 57 percent of the or, or tourists uh, they come from U.S. and uh, the other ones uh, come from uh, Brazil, uh, Costa Rica, Salvador, uh, some from uh, Argentina, Chile, Holland, uh, Holland, oh. and uh, France is a, is a one of the uh, destination that the French, French people uh, look at for, for Panama. So when uh, folks are coming from the United States, uh, were they obviously looking for the weather? Huh? Yes, they, they, they're looking for the weather, they're looking for our beaches, they, they're looking for the ecotourism that we have, and uh, not only in Panama City, but also in uh, the uh, Chiriqui area, uh, that's in, uh, close to the border of Costa Rica. Panama is like a melting pot. Uh, everybody uh, in, in the, uh, in the uh, so many years ago, a lot of people uh, used Panama as a, 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 a place of reference. And everybody comes to stay, uh, people from uh, Spain, from Italy, from U.S., and uh, for different countries. And, and, and they, they, they made a lot of uh, business here. Mm -hmm. They met uh, with Panamanians. They have a family with their Panamanians. And they get um, uh, interactions. Uh, and that gives us a, a very look overlook about the old cultures around the world because we are a, a transit country. Uh, I also hear on the other side of the spectrum that retirement 
from oh, yes. people in the States or even people from Europe yes. here in Panama? Well, I'm the second uh, country in, uh, uh, as a destination for retirement people because the law that we have, mm -hmm. we have a, a real special law. Actually, I, I believe it's one of the best uh, uh, law for the retirement people around the world. Mm -hmm. We have the connectivity, we have the dollar, we have the banking area, but especially the connectivity with the uh, Tokumen. You can, uh, we, we, we can be in contact with 65 uh, different uh, cities, 67 cities around the world, uh, from the hub of the Americas, which is, which, which is uh, the uh, Tokumen Airport. Um, that's yes, right here. That's, that's, that's Panama. That's Panama. And that's something, when you planning, when you do some planning for a business or for a family trip, you look for some things real, real hard today. You, you look for the, for the safety place, you look for a place that have the connectivity, not also the airport, but connectivity by cellular, by phone, by, by banks, by the money, the, the, the dollar that we have as a currency, and that's, real, that's something important. You don't have to make a, a, see to, how, how you are gonna change dollar for another mm. money, you know, the, the change. And um, that's something that people look for today. If someone were coming here, uh, what uh, three things would you have them see? What would you have them do? What would you have them experience? Well, kind of, of Panama is, uh, is the most, uh, it's, it's something that they, they have to see. But additional to the canal of Panama, you will see the, the site of construction, the new, the new uh, pair of locks um, under construction. That's the, after new, the expansion. That's the expansion of the canal. After 100 years, you will see that. Actually, a, a lot of uh, uh, tourists, they, they come to Panama and they go to Canal of Panama, but they're really impressed with the, uh, with the expansion. And they, they took, a, uh, they, they like to take a, a little piece of rock and, and put it in a, in a, in a kind of year or something uh, that they can keep it and say, well, after 100 years, that's the first expansion of the Canal of Panama. And that's something that they like to see. Uh, the huge locks, uh, the new pair of locks, and everything. So the Canal of Panama is interesting for the tourists, but the expansion, it looks like uh, it's more interesting for, for the people. And they want to go Ooh. to the country, uh, to, to, the, to the job site, to see how, is, how, how, how it works. So uh, I was asking you three things that people should do and see, and we were talking about first the, the, the canal. canal of Panama. What else? Gary. You have to go the, to the, the museum. New museum. Yeah, the new museum. You have to go tell, to the, tell us a little bit about oh, the, the, the museum. Oh, the, the, the museum is known. It's the only one in America, and you will see the diversity of the uh, specimen, the human specimen, and that's something important for the people, for scientific people, for non scientific people. But you go how we start with a cell, with a cell, with a cell, and then how we are going to grow up and grow up, and the difference uh, how the human race. Uh, you know, create and uh, how they develop and the, the animals too. And uh, that's something that you will see fine. Uh, you will see part of everything down there. But it's experience. And uh, I recommend it to everybody to go to the museum. Of so the, the we've got the diversity. canal, we've got the museum. What would be the third thing? Well, the old town. The old town. Uh, yes, you have to go to the old town. We call uh, Casco Antiguo, but it's the old town of the, uh, of the city. In that area, you will find only the churches. You'll find um, a building for the 1800s, uh, for the 1700s. And you will see a lot of history in that area. And if, if, if I have to mention a, a, a four attraction, I will see Panama La Vieja in, uh, in the other area of the city. That, that area is, uh, is really impressed uh, uh, how uh, the pirates, they come to Panama and they assault the city and this is all this story. And people like that. People look for that. Uh, people, when, when they travel, they look for the old towns and, uh, and for the history mm -hmm. more than that other thing. So, and we have uh, a little bit of, of everything in, in, in the city and, and, and also uh, in the country. Panama is much more than nice weather and the Panama Canal. The country's location is important to the natural history of the entire hemisphere. We visited the new Museum of Biodiversity and met with the executive director. Biodiversity Museum? Yes, this is the correct name. What does that mean, biodiversity? The people have to understand that the biodiversity is everything. Everything. We, the, the people, the animals, the plant, everything is biodiversity. And we try to explain in this small country in this small museum 
what important is for us, for all the human, human being, is the biodiversity. When we think of Panama, we think of a canal mm -hmm. that is connecting one big ocean with another big ocean, or one water mass with another mass. Mm -hmm. We're talking about going in this direction, aren't we? <laughs> uh, yes. Connecting, tell us. Well, oh, this is a great history. Well, so, um, three, year, three, uh, three uh, million years ago, the Isthmus of Panama is coming from the bottom of the sea and uh, is uh, converted to Las Americas, the continent, in one, only one mass of Earth. And that, that permit that the, all the animals, all the plants and the human beings cross Panama between south to the north or north to the south. This is a big, big history that we count in this bio museo, the, uh, the museo de, de, de la biodiversidad. This is the name and we try to explain that in this small museum. Okay, this is a very important uh, lesson that you're going to be teaching us, right? Yes. Because we're talking about uh, massive change in how the world operated. Huh? Yes, because we have, um, when, when the Isthmus is coming uh, from the bottom of the sea and the, all the ocean then is coming to the Isthmus and go to the north and to the south with the warm water in the, the, uh, is in the, in the tropics, is go to the north and to the South America. They have a lot of change to the evolution. We have, uh, that's the reason that the, we say that the Panama is so important for the evolution and by the, from the biodiversity in the world now. Because this, this exchange is, is coming from three million of years, but it's continued today. We have uh, to try to um, explain how important is the biodiversity for everyone in this museum. Now this museum, as a physical building, is unique, isn't it? Yes, this is a very, um, very incredible architect. Frank Gehry has a, was a, the architect of this building and we think this, this is a very great work for us. Uh, in Panama, we are very happy with that. Uh, I think within that, this is important for the country. It's, impor it's important for the region, and it's impor important for the biodiversity. If you want to know about Panama, first you have to came to the museum. Because ah, then you understand the physical, physical Yes. Being of Panama. Huh? Yes, I think so. Tiny country, very important. Yes, I think so. I think the, the museum have a big message for the all the world. And the message is? Is the biodiversity is very important. We have to, to, um, to maintain and understand what the biodiversity is, is function for, for all. And uh, we had to take care of the bio biodiversity. Our guide, Juan Carlos Valdez, spent most of the week with us and expertly explained many aspects of Panama's culture, history, and geography in the colonial city, Casco Viejo, and the ruins of the old city known as Panama Viejo, and on our day trip to visit the indigenous Embera tribe who live in the rainforest. As we walk around this area, what will we see, what will we feel, what will we experience? The beauty of the old colonial city have to do with the fact that here uh, we can have the opportunity to see beautiful architecture for three important times of our country. The Spanish colonization is the French period of the construction of the Panama Canal and then the United States period is all mixed up in, in, in some of these buildings. At the same time we have some of the most important historical plazas and monuments of the cities are located here. Um, the important uh, buildings from the government like the presidential palace, 
is located in this particular area. And it's changing a little bit because it's now it's becoming a vibrant city, especially at night. If you come here, there is a great nightlife. Uh, it's a big spot for tourists uh -huh, uh -huh. that likes to come and enjoy and see Panama from another point of view. This city gives us the opportunity to really see Panama, the old Panama City feel how it was. And then as you walk along the plazas, you have these amazing views of what Panama is nowadays, which is the modern city with all the skyline. And it's pretty impressive to see the contrast from just one point of view. And, and that's one of the things that people really enjoy when they come here, either at day or nighttime. We're just sitting uh, uh, slightly away from one of the plazas. Yeah. Tell, tell me the importance of the plaza and how that is part of the culture. All right, the plaza where we just were is called the Cathedral Plaza, uh -huh. and that's where we have the most important church of the city. It's located there. And at the same time, uh, it's also known as the Independence Plaza, uh, because there we have monuments related to our the moment when Panama became a nation in the year 1903. Mm -hmm. So we have a uh, uh, bust of our first president. But around the plaza, we all have some of the most important a historical buildings from the canal construction time. We have the building that is now the official museum of the canal. Oh, yeah. It was called the Grand Hotel. It was where the French established the, the office when they came to build the Panama Canal for 20 years. We also have um, the Municipal Council building is over there. And it's that rich mixture of different periods of the history of Panama all together in one plaza, which makes it very interesting for for, for the tourists and, and also for Panamanians we feel very proud of. Uh, you and I visited uh, ruins the other day. Yeah. You were describing again a kind of a town square that is traditional mm -hmm. in various cities. Is, is, talk a little bit about the history of the, of the center, the town square. The, the we place. were at the old Panama City and uh, that's the first city that was established in the Pacific side of America. We are now in the old Panama City. Panama is very well known for having three cities. Um, the old Panama City where we are now, the first city founded in the Pacific side of America by the Spaniards um, in the year 1519. Uh, the 15th of August, it became a very important location, not only for, for the Panamanians, but especially for the Spaniards because uh, most of the gold that at that time the Spaniards were taken out of South America came through the Isthmus of Panama, and it's estimated that about 60% of all the gold that was taken from, by the Spaniards from South America at one point came through the Isthmus of Panama on its way to Spain. There was one guy, his name was uh, Henry Morgan, you probably heard about him, who in the year 1671 was uh, smart enough to actually use the only Spanish trail cross uh, from the Caribbean to the Pacific uh, and attack and surprise this city, set it on fire uh, most of the city, spent about 28 days here, and after that attack, he left and, uh, uh, and went back to England. After that attack, the Spaniards, uh, they decided that this was, it was going to be a dangerous place to be again or to rebuild the city in these locations because they could be attacked again. So that's when they relocated the city to the colonial city, which is about uh, where the colonial city is right now. is about uh, eight kilometers. So in the year 1673, everything that was here was just rebuilt about eight kilometers away from here. Um, that city was really well fortified. Yeah, it was protected by a huge wall that was surrounding the entire city. So what we have here um, is our uh, monuments from the year 1671 uh, that have been here. And uh, the important thing to mention that not a lot of people know that this was the first city found in the Pacific side of America after uh, the Spanish explorer Vasco Núñez de Balboa discovered the South Sea here in Panama in the year 1513, six years before. A wonderful part of Panama's culture and identity is found in its indigenous tribes, the original people of Panama. We traveled an hour and a half out of the city by van and then an hour on the river. The water is crystal clear, clean, and drinkable, and we were able to experience the natural beauty of Panama's rainforest up close. When we arrived at the Embera village, we were greeted with drums and music and the genuine warmth of the Embera people. Juan Carlos translated as I talked with the tribal spokesman. How many uh, people are living in this area, in this village? ¿Cuántas personas viven en esta comunidad? Este, bueno, en la comunidad nosotros vivimos 108 personas y 24 casas. There are uh, 108 
uh, people here, uh, and there is 24 families or houses. Uh -huh. How many, we see some little uh, children running around. How many children? ¿Cuántos, vi algunos niños que estaban corriendo por ahí. ¿Cuántos niños hay ahorita mismo? Uh, ok, eh, niños, tenemos en la escuela, habemos 33 niños. Mm -hmm. Y en la secundaria, tenemos 17 niños. Ok, so there, uh, in, this, in the elementary school here, they have 33 kids. And then in high school, they have 17 Whoa. teenagers. And uh, how do the people here uh, make a living? Como las personas que viven aquí buscan, hacen su sustento, buscan su sustento de su dinero. Bueno, nosotros aquí en la comunidad, nosotros anteriormente vivíamos con la agricultura. Cultivábamos lo que es el arroz, el maíz, y eso de eso nosotros vivíamos aquí. Before, uh, Previously, they used to depend completely on agriculture, so they used to plant different crops, rice, plantains, and corn, so that's what they used to depend on. And now? Y ahora? Eh, ahora mismo, pues, es, nosotros dedicamos, tenemos como cinco años, pues, dedicamos lo que es la actividad de turismo, eh, vivimos de turismo ahorita mismo nosotros con los visitantes. Uh, since five years ago, they completely depend, and their main source of income is the tourist activity, uh, welcoming and having visitors uh, come into their community and showing, you the, showing them the, the village and their culture. So when we're here today, what will we see? What will we experience? En la visita de nosotros hoy, ¿qué vamos a ver? ¿Qué, vamos a, qué experiencia vamos a tener? Ok, pues la visita de ustedes, la experiencia es que pues nosotros les vamos a dar lo que es las danzas tradicionales, la música tradicional y la comida tradicional. De so en nuestra visita de hoy, we'll have the opportunity to see the traditional dances, the traditional music, and also to have a taste of their traditional food. The uh, Imbera people, are, they, are there many uh, outside of the 108 people here uh, throughout Panama? Dice que lo, la, la comunidad de los Emberás, hay mucho más Emberás afuera de esta comunidad de 108 personas en otras partes de Panamá. Sí, claro, por supuesto. En la comarca, en la provincia de Darín. En la provincia de Darín. Ajá, 125 mil habitantes en la provincia de Darín. Um, he said that, of course, outside of these communities, there, there is other Emberás members, especially in the Darín province, where is the biggest population. And he said that approximately 125,000 people live there. Ah, is uh, so that would be the total uh, uh, in the entire country? Esa es la población total en el en el país. Yes, it's the total population. And uh, historically, uh, the uh, Embera people are the indigenous people of Panama. Y históricamente los Embera son la la comunidad indígena más importante o principal de Panamá. Bueno, nosotros, según dice pues, la historia, pues nosotros somos de los originarios de los, los pueblos, los, los, los Emberá, aquí de Panamá. So, according with the history, they, they, they believe that they are the original group uh, of Panama, the first. Ah, the original group of Panama. We met many villagers, including the evangelical minister who lives with the people and has built a church there. Valerio Ruiz. Nice to meet you, Valerio Ruiz. Ah, Dennis. My name is Dennis. Dennis. Okay. We wanted to see your church. Quería ver su iglesia. Okay. Yes. Esa iglesia no es mía. Esa iglesia es de Dios. So that's not his church. That's God's church. Oh, good. Con la gracia del Señor estoy predicando ahí. Very nice. I played some soccer with Alejandro, oh, 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 oh. ate a hands-on meal of tilapia and plantains, <laughs> and even shopped for some of the tribe's intricately made handicrafts, which are sold to support the tourism-based economy. There was dancing, too, and even a couple of magic tricks. It was incredible to see that the Embera tribal culture was so intact when the capital city is so modern and developed. The Embera experience was also a powerful reminder that Panama is a country of contrasts and realities, old and new, rich and poor, the Atlantic and the Pacific, Central, North and South America. It's all here and all part of Panama.
For information about This Is America and the World and to watch all of our programs, visit our website, thisisamerica.net, and look for us on Facebook and Twitter. This Is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association, the U.S.-China Education Trust and F.Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. Japan, history, hospitality, and advanced technology. Sharing tomorrow. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Panama Tourism Authority. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings. And Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing, and distribution services.